We turn now to the latest in the Trump presidency. President Trump has announced Judge Amy Coney Barrett as his nomination to the Supreme Court. This kicks off an effort to have Barrett confirmed quickly by the Senate before Election Day. CBS 4 Skyler Henry has more from the White House. President Trump introduced Judge Amy Coney Barrett as his nominee for the Supreme Court, with both making efforts to preemptively answer critics. Amy Coney Barrett will decide cases based on the text of the Constitution as written. If confirmed, I would not assume that role for the sake of those in my own circle, and certainly not for my own sake. I would assume this role to serve you. If Barrett is confirmed by the Senate, the 48-year-old who now sits on the 7th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals would become the youngest associate justice on the current Supreme Court. Barrett's conservative legal views stand in sharp contrast to the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, a liberal icon whose seat Barrett would fill. Challenges to the Affordable Care Act and Roe v. Wade could come into play. With just over five weeks left before the November election, Senate Republicans are planning to get through confirmation hearings as fast as they can. During the Rose Garden ceremony, the president sent senators a message, including those in attendance. This should be a straightforward and prompt confirmation. Should be very easy. Good luck. It's going to be very quick. <laughs> but Democrats have argued the pick should come from the winner of the November 3rd election. Judge Ginsburg had a dying wish that the next president choose. Justice Ginsburg must be turning her over in her grave up at heaven to see that the person they chose seems to be intent on undoing all the things that Ginsburg did. Barrett would be President Trump's third Supreme Court appointment, following Justices Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh. That would leave conservatives with six of nine seats on the nation's highest court. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.